And I don't know what he has. I'm just going to play Giant in the back. Hopefully he doesn't have Pekka. If he does, there's a bit of a minor trick I can use, which I may or may not mess up. Okay. So we will try this. If this if this goes well, oh. Well, rip me. And hopefully it works. If this works, it could potentially win me the game. Okay. No. Well, okay. Rest in peace. I lose. What is up guys, Vulcan here, and today I'm going to be going over this giant double minion deck. So, this deck uh, I used to qualify for King's Cup Top 8, and in the King's Cup I actually used a different variation. I used Goblins instead of Log, and Mega Minion instead of Minions, but I think this uh, version that I have right here is... Current is more consistent and just better in the meta overall. Um, Tally actually used this deck. He's a pusher for Sandstorm to finish number three in the world last season. And he finished number eight in the world. And he finished, uh, well, he finished number six. And he finished number eight. So this deck, uh, he doesn't have it on the profile and all three accounts, but... This deck is a monster and it is really good. So I am currently eight and three or eight and zero oh in a grand challenge. Sorry, and yeah, I'll just go over the deck real quick. Honestly, I'm not even going to try to explain the deck because every time I try to, I get mixed up in my words and get confused. And I, I think I explain it better when I play. So I'm just gonna get into a live match. Hopefully, this doesn't take too long. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we are up against Scorpion. Music note. Okay, so this is my starting hand. Um, it's it's a pretty good starting hand. Okay, he goes with pump, so I will be aggressive. Go with giant minions, and I'm going to play a minor on the pump, but I'll wait and see if he plays something like goblins first. Okay, even if he does uh, have goblins, he, de he definitely doesn't have elixir for them, so. I'll play my minor there. Ooh, that's really not good. Okay, well played by him for sure. It looks like he has three musketeers, which is a really good matchup with this deck, so I should be able to beat it. But currently, this guy is completely wrecking me with pumps. Okay, so. He definitely has an elixir advantage on me, so what I'm going to do is uh, play Giant in the back, and if he places three Vesketeers in the middle, I will quickly fireballs at them. Oh, nice. He should have gone opposite lane with that. I'll play on minions to counter that. Just wait to see if he places three Vesketeers. Fireballs out. Okay. I'm going... I think he's saving up for Mini Horde, yeah. Not Goblin Gang. I thought about pre-logging, but I'm glad I didn't because definitely would have lost the tower. I need to make sure and um, kill his Miner first because I knew he had Zap in hand and he tried to Zap. I'm just going to throw in some minions to make that uh, pretty menacing push. He wastes an Ice Golem, which is a positive one Elixir trade for him, so... Yeah, currently he is uh, destroying me, but, you know, it's all good. I can finish off the left tower with a uh, miner, so I'm not going to push in that lane yet. Nice. Okay, I'm actually going to finish off those musketeers with... A minor because I really want to save my log and zap for offense. Looks like I got this game. Uh, he played he played this matchup very well, but honestly, you really just can't. Um,
I mean, he, there's really just no way he can win. Okay. I thought he was going to do that. I probably should have played the minions a little bit sooner, but I was getting mixed up on words. But it's all good. So I'm, I want to make sure I don't throw this game. So I'm not going to go offensive with a um, giant quite yet. Just going to play the miner to chip him down. I'll go ahead and zap that minion horde. And I, Is that in fireball? I think that's... Yeah, that's fireball range. So good game. Well played, good game. I don't know if I said good game first. But either way, uh, he definitely played that well. Um, kind of curious if that guy's a good player because... I definitely had the deck matchup in that, so it's kind of impressive that... Oh. Hmm. It looks like... He has three Musketeers maxed. What in the world? Okay, he has a pretty interesting account, but... Yeah, he played that pretty well. There's really no way for me to lose to that matchup unless I really have a really bad start in hand and he gets a huge elixir advantage. But, yeah, it's just important to um, play your giant in the lane with the one musketeer and then kind of ignore the two musketeers until they get to the bridge and then just fireball or minion horde them or whatever else he drops uh, on the two musketeers and then just push hard with your giant. Just kind of waiting. I probably should have logged, but... Okay. Not the best turn hands. Usually I don't want to waste my miner like this, but... I'm already assuming that he has... Um, Hog Mega Knight. And in that case, I don't really want to play my Giant in the back. I want to play it reactively. And I play my Giant there because... He just wasted his... Infernal Dragon. So he literally has... Well, not nothing, but good luck defending it. Oh! Okay, I'm very confused right now. I've never seen this Hog Mega Knight deck. Uh, okay, I think what he did is he took out Mega Knight and put in Tornado. So I'm just going to play the rest of the game with that assumption, which means I still don't want to play my Giant in the back because um, I don't... I don't really want to. Well, I don't really want to play my giant in the back until he wastes his infernal dragon because his infernal dragon can take out my giant for a nice positive elixir trade and then it will counter push after. But now that he played this, his infernal dragon, I am free to play my giant. Okay, well played by him, but at the same time, you know, not really that well played because now I'm just gonna go with a giant minion horde. He doesn't have poison in hand. He doesn't have Inferno Dragon in hand. And... Yeah, I think I can get a lot of damage with this push. Probably should have pre-logged there if I had any brains, but... It's all good. Gets some nice damage. And it's not even a bad Elixir trade for me. It's, it's an even Elixir trade, and I just took down like half of his tower. So I'm going to queue up the Miner game. I'll play my Miner in the back here because he doesn't have Tornado in hand. Okay, I'll play that Nightwish in the back. Hopefully he wastes his poison again. That would be very good for me. I think I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm going to Fireball his Hog Rider. And log it to make sure that it gets no damage. At this point, I pretty much won the game. So, I can just play defense and... You know, go from there. I'll get rid of those bats. Looks like I got the tower on the right side. Play my Night Witch here to defend. Uh, if he hogs on this side, I'll drop a log. I'll just fireball his hog rider to make sure it doesn't uh, kill me. And yeah. So just the important thing in that matchup is you just don't play your giant until the Infernal Dragon's out of hands. And it's really hard with uh, like a Mega Knight Infernal Dragon deck to not cycle the Infernal Dragon. So yeah. I am currently... At Tano, going really well. Hopefully, I can go up against a Pe Pekka match and show you how to beat that also. If not, then I will insert a clip that shows an interesting way to pull a Pekka to the opposite lane with the Miner. Okay. So, it's tempting to Fireball that, but what I'm going to hope is that he gives me some nice Fireball value uh, with that Spirit Goblin Hunt. Going to minor in the anti-tornado position because 
say he's using my deck that oh he's using the ccgs version okay this deck has uh flying machine and oh no it doesn't interesting Okay, so I'm just going to wait for some Spear Goblins to stack up and then just log them. There's no reason to overcommit here because the reality is just that my push won't get anywhere. This is kind of a hard matchup, but I beat it a couple battles ago, so it's definitely winnable. Okay, I found out, at least I think I found out, that you need to make sure and Miner that furnace. Um, I was trying not mining the furnace, and he was just uh, the last time I faced this matchup. And my opponent was just like snowballing the game out of control. So, yeah, I think it's definitely the right play. Okay, he gives me some nice value. I'm just, I'm gonna wait and hope he drops like a spear goblin hut. Nope. Okay. I probably should have just played that uh, fireball sooner, and may a gi giant would have got a little bit of damage, but I don't know. It didn't. It didn't look too good. This is not looking good. I think I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna try to predict some uh, fire spirits, but that did not end up working. So yeah, th this guy is definitely wrecking me right now. There's not really any choice here but to go same lane as him because if I go opposite lane, then he'll just chip me out and it really won't do any good. Oh, I wish I... Actually, no, that's good because the poison is so slow that it won't even really... Oh, man, I can't talk right now. The poison is so slow, it... Uh, the minions will take down the flying machine before it even has a chance to kill... For the poison even has a chance to kill my minions. Okay. This is kind of going to be my last ditch effort here. Oh, I misplaced the miner a little bit. Yeah, this is looking like a GG. There's not really much I can do in this matchup. I think I didn't play it that terribly considering the circumstance. I'm going to go with an aggressive giant here because a furnace really, it doesn't do any DPS, so there's no reason not to play a giant right into it. He's playing this matchup really well and kind of destroying me if I'm going to be honest here. I'm going to log to make sure that, that, um, yeah, good game, well played, thumbs up. There's pretty much, pretty much nothing I can do with this matchup. It's all good. He played it well. I think I actually didn't play that bad. Uh, yeah, well played to him. So, 10-1 in the Grand Challenge against a pretty interesting deck that Music Master used in CCGS, except his deck didn't have Miner in it, so I'm not sure exactly what he's... Well, let's look at the deck. I think he might have swapped out Log for Miner. No, he has Log. Huh. Interesting. I'm not sure what he swapped out. Oh, he swapped it out. He swapped out Miner minor for Mega Knight, which... I don't know. I haven't used that deck, so I'm not sure if that's uh, a better deck, but... Works against me. Okay, we're up against Alice Pro Gamer. Um, Interesting starting hand. I think I'll just wait a bit to see what he does. Oh, uh, if he has the same deck, that's not going to be good. But if he has a Mega Knight version, then it's a lot easier to beat. Ooh, he does have the same deck. Okay. I'm going to go with the minions. My Night Witch wasn't having a whole lot of luck in the last matchup, so I'm just going to try to not play a whole lot of Night Witch. Unless... I have no other choice, like, right now. Honestly, I'm just going to zap to get rid of that furnace. Okay. What I'm going to try to do here is just go opposite lane, and he just wasted five elixir on that spear gone hut, which won't do anything to defend this push. 
So just try to take out the tower right now. Kind of going in an, an all-out push because last matchup didn't really work, and it looks, it looks like I'm, looks like that was the right decision. So I didn't think that he had spear golem head in hand. He might have. I mean, I didn't think he had furnace in hand. He might have been able to cycle back to it, but he didn't. So yeah, now it's just gonna be um, a matchup where I just kind of all out defend because he doesn't really have he probably shouldn't have any true win condition to take me out it's just a chip deck so yeah so I have my giant here to distract those fire spears and spear golems nice the Okay. Oh, dang. Yeah, he has a Mega Knight version, which is definitely a lot easier to beat. At least with this deck. I don't know how it uh, how it does versus, like, Hog Rider and stuff. Man, I really want to play my minions here, but... Oh, dang. Okay, it looks like I just need to defend the rest of this matchup. <laughs> just defending. Go ahead and get rid of that tower. Throw it at a defensive giant. I guess against this deck, it looks like the best way to win is just recognizing one of their spawners is out of hand. And as soon as it is, hit that opposite lane hard. And yeah, you can get the matchup that way. So good game. Well played. So yeah, this is the deck that Music Master used in CCGS, and it looks like this is a variation of the deck, which both of the decks seem pretty good, but I recognize he had nothing to defend my giant, so I hit the opposite lane. Okay, 11-1, and yeah, see if I can get this nice 12 win. Waiting. Okay, we're up against Nova Kronos. So I got Giant in my starting hand. I got Night Witch in my starting hand, which is perfect punish. So I'll just wait and see if he does anything because I want to um, be able to punish whatever he drops. Okay. He drops Ice Skull in the back. Just throw out my Night Witch to defend that. I don't know. Some people start with their Giant in the back, but personally, I'm not a huge fan of it. Whenever I do it, it never seems to work out, so. Yeah, I, I prefer to start with my Night Witch. Okay. Not really sure what deck he has. This is kind of interesting. I don't know. I think I have an Elixir Venus, so I'll just start my uh, Dryon in the back. Hopefully he doesn't have... P.E.K.K.A. or Infernal Dragon. If he has P.E.K.K.A., then I can put my Miner on this tile and pull the P.E.K.K.A. to the opposite lane. So yeah, I'll just keep that trick up my sleeve. Oh, interesting. I'm just going to ignore that mus Musketeer and try to get the tower right here. He doesn't have a lot of Elixir right now. And I think my push can definitely do more damage than his push. So yeah, hopefully this takes a tower. It doesn't look like it's going to quite take it, but it gets uh, well played with him. Except he just overcommit a lot, and he does not have um, Zap in hand now. So I'm going to go with Giant Mini Horde. Hopefully he plays Mini Horde right on top of my Giant. He does. He does. Looks like good game. So I knew that. First of all, I think I had an Elixir Vanish there. Um, Second of all, he just wasted his zap on, like, absolutely nothing. So, you know, I, I couldn't let that slide. I had to punish him for it. No reason to log that, log that Goblin Gang because my Night Witch will just finish it off. Use my log on that uh, Three Muscle Tears instead. What he's going to do is ignore my... 
Yeah, he was going to just ignore my Night Witch, so that's why I, I threw a giant in front of it. So he really had no choice but to defend there, and he couldn't um, do a giant three Musketeers push. With this deck, if I let the three Musketeers build up, then there is no way I could defend it. But So yeah, it's just important to keep up the pressure on them. Okay, good game, well played. Thumbs up. Okay, so I'll just um, go over like Expo matchup. Giant has a really good matchup against Expo, but it's just important when you verse it to not waste your Giant on offense. It kind of turns into a minor chip deck, and you really only want to play a uh, Giant to defend the Expo. And then versus like Hog Mega Knight, as I said, uh, I kind of had a Hog matchup here. Just don't play your Giant until his Infernal Dragon's out of hand. I figured I'd just throw in this next clip because it was a good matchup versus uh, a fairly, not as popular anymore, but an old meta deck. And feel free to skip it if you don't want to watch it. But there is a chest opening at the end. So yeah, enjoy. Battle against Adrian1963. So... It looks like he knows who I am. <laughs> Ooh, if he had, it look, I'm just gonna take a guess here and say that he has Lava Loon. In that case, as soon as he plays his um, Lava Hound, I am going to pressure with Giant. Okay. I honestly just want to get that Tombstone off the field, so I'm going to log it and just. Ignore his Goblin Gang. Okay, so this is exactly what I was hoping you'd do. He goes with Lava Hound, so I'm going to have the best punish in the game. Go in with my um, Night Witch Giant combo. And if he drops a Balloon, then I can drop probably drop Minion Horde, and he won't have enough Elixir to Fireball it. Because Zap wouldn't kill my Minion Horde by itself. Nice. Okay, so... Just gonna... There we go. He won't have enough elixir to fireball this. So, there's no way he can defend it. Okay, this game is looking really good. I'm going to... Try to not place my giant until he... Places his, um... Lava Hound, because as soon as he places that Lava Hound, I want to pressure. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go opposite lane of that Lava Hound, and my Night Witch should uh, destroy it if he doesn't do anything to defend it. I'll fire roll those minions, because I need to make sure I get that Lava Hound killed. Well played. Okay, it looks it looks like he got this tower, which is all good. Or he didn't even get the tower. Hmm. Honestly? I'm just gonna go for the three crown. <laughs> okay, well played to him. Is he really not going to get my tower? Okay, GG. I'll just open up this chest and end the video. Ooh, 22,000 gold. Two three musketeers. 15 bats. 25 royal giants. 60 cannons. Nothing here is good so far. Just kind of getting some gold. Ooh, I like that inferno tower. 13 flying machine. Probably one of the worst cards in the game. 16 furnaces, 29 heal, 30 hog riders. I, I love the hog rider, so that's great. 809 minions just turns into gold, and 11 balloons, which is perfect because it's my highest epic. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the deck.
feel free to try it out. And yeah, Falcon out.